The use of selective uh, pesticides or alternative pesticides is an alternative away from the typical conventional or we call broad spectrum materials that can, can be harmful to natural enemies and also harmful to people too. Insecticidal soaps are desiccants. When you spray them on a plant, they uh, break down the membrane of the insect and it basically loses all its water. Uh, oils, on the other hand, are we call suffocants, where you spray them, they cover the breathing pores, and the insect basically dies of suffocation or asphyxiation. So that's the difference. They both primarily work very well in the soft-bodied insects, such as aphids, uh, mealybugs, white flies, spider mites is another example. Oils will kill the eggs of certain insects and mites, so that gives them a little spectrum of activity, where the soaps primarily kill the nymphs, the larva, or the adult stage. The advantage is that they're selective, they have short residual activity, however, that short residual activity can be a disadvantage because that means you have to apply them more often. They do break down uh, under UV light, sunlight, and rainfall, so that means you may have to apply them frequently. They have less indirect impact on natural enemies, but if you spray them on a natural enemy like a green lacewing, a ladybug larva, they will kill it. They're, they're non-discriminatory about that. So you first they get your pest identified, and then you can go to the garden center, nursery, or wherever, and find the product that has that specific pest, in most cases, on the label. The key when using these products, soaps and oils, is twofold. One is contact, thorough coverage of the plant parts. Their only contact activity means whatever they touch, they'll kill. So if you miss some aphids and spider mites, they will not die. The other one is frequency of application. You have to apply them frequently enough because there's very low residual activity. So the key again is thorough coverage of all plant parts and multiple applications if you want to effect effectively uh, deal with insect or mite pest populations. For more information, visit your local Extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.